computer time. <gasps> Look at how cool this place is! We should get something like this for the fun time den! I bet the kids would love it! I do not think that would be child appropriate. Besides, where would we even get all this equipment? The store? Duh. Yeah, no. All of this is government grade stuff. There's no way you're getting your hands on it. Aww. I wish we could still have physical bodies. It would be fun to mess with sun and moon when they can't see or hear us. Your reputation seems to precede you, daycare attendants. The voices seem quite infatuated with you. Well, tell those voices of yours, no thank you. We have enough trouble dealing with just you two. Why do sun and moon look so mean? Not only do they look mean, but they're grumpy too. Who's grumpy? You better not be talking about us. We aren't. The voices are. <laughs> How are we being grumpy? <laughs> yeah, that's just him all the time. I, 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 well, excuse me for not liking being killed in my own home. <laughs> Never saving you again. So have you guys met Lunar yet? Lunar? Who's Lunar? Wait, who told you that name? Do you really have to ask? Right, voices. Lunar was a failed animatronic alongside their counterpart Eclipse. They were supposed to be the daycare attendants, but according to the confidential documents, something went wrong and they were scrapped. I heard? They didn't even make it out of the testing phase before that, too. They were really dangerous. Well, Eclipse was. Leonard just seemed to do whatever Eclipse told them. I suppose I should count myself lucky to attack daycare attendant Moondrop, then. Hey, what about me? I was the one who stopped you, after all. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Thank you as well, daycare attendant Sunrise. Blood Moon, I'm sorry I made you come here. You were right. It was super dangerous. <sighs> Apology accepted. Though, I should apologize as well. You were right about the daycare. You should have trusted them in the first place. If you guys are done, I found something interesting. Is it about the protocol? No, I'm still looking into that. But I think I found out why they hear voices. It's magic. You have to be kidding. Nope. My best guess right now is that they're somehow tapping into some magical pool and are hearing the thoughts of other individuals from other worlds. Is that bad? As far as I can tell, these voices can't do anything but talk to them. They're practically harmless. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Does that mean we can go to Hogwarts? Ah, uh, you do know... Uh a Hogwarts isn't real, right? What, really? Aw, oh, man. It's for the best, New Moon. If we were gone, who would take care of the den? Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, there's no way we can leave the den. Stop moving. You're messing up my readings. Oh, sorry. Well, well, we'll see you about that. <laughs> <laughs>